Are you interested in staking your Ethereum but don't know how to run your own validator? Well, you can use what's known as a liquid staking derivative or liquid staking token to get access to those yields that are rewarded to people who are validators for the Ethereum ecosystem. And today, I'm going to show you how you can stake your ETH in the Frax ecosystem and get back staked Frax Ethereum. The first thing to do is to come to the Frax Finance website. You can find that in the link below. Once you arrive here, click on the Launch App button that will take you to the dashboard. Once you're on the dashboard, there are two things that you will need to do. The first is connect your wallet. There are four wallets that you can use with the Frax Finance app page. I believe that most people are probably going to use MetaMask like me, but additionally, if you have Wallet Connect or Coinbase Wallet or even a Trezor, you can also use those as well too. I'm going to connect my MetaMask wallet here, which is what you should do as well. And then once you've done that, over on the left-hand side of the page, in the menu, look for the FRX ETH menu item, the Frax ETH. Once you are on the Frax ETH page, the first thing to do is to choose how much Frax ETH you actually want to stake. In my case, I'm going to choose 0.1 ETH. Once I've selected how much ETH I want to stake as Frax ETH, the next step will be to press this white mint and stake button. Now, while there is a button for mint only, if you don't stake your Frax ETH, you will not earn a yield or a reward. The yield is only paid out to stakers. If you only mint, you'll be given Frax ETH, which is just a Ethereum pegged stablecoin. If you want to earn a yield, you need to get staked Frax ETH. We use a two token system for a variety of reasons that you can find in one of our other Frax 101 videos. But for today, let's just click on mint and stake. You will get a pop-up in your MetaMask or whatever sort of wallet that you're using telling you that this interaction with the Frax contracts is all set up. Once you review it, you can click the confirm button and then validate that transaction either in your hardware wallet or just let it go if you're using just MetaMask. So I'm going to approve this transaction and it's going to uh, bring up this little pop-up that says processing Frax ETH mint and stake transaction. If I click on this link, it will take me to Etherscan where I can see that this transaction is already a success. Everything's already been swapped over. I deposited 0.1 Frax ETH and I have received back uh, 0 0.099 or 959 stake Frax ETH. Now to unstake your stake Frax ETH, if you ever want to do that, you can come back to this same page and click on unstake. You can choose to unstake your stake Frax ETH right here by clicking on this max button. This will enter in the quantity of the stake Frax ETH that you have, and it will show you how much Frax ETH you're going to get back. And then you can unstake at that time. So these are the steps that you can take to stake your ETH as staked Frax ETH using the Frax protocol. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below, or you can come to the Flywheel DeFi Telegram. Additionally, if you like the content that we're making here in this tutorial video, please give us a like and also subscribe to Flywheel DeFi on YouTube. And if you want Frax content delivered to you every single day of the week, come to flywheeldefi.com and subscribe to our mailing list. We have a ton of great content that goes out every single day and you'll learn everything that's happening inside the Frax ecosystem. Uh, we have Frax Check, we have This Week in Frax, and we also do a big interview once a week. So you definitely want to come and sign up for this mailing list. You'll learn everything there is to know about Frax and what they're building on chain. I'm Samuel McCullough from Flywheel DeFi. Thank you for tuning into this video, and we'll see you next time.